Have you ever been ridiculed or made fun of? Been the center of a joke where sarcasm was the intention and yet it came at your expense? Was it ever about your dark armpits, your dark elbows, your dark knees, or your dark skin? In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to love your dark skin and embrace all that melanin. Hopefully my experiences can shed some light on self-love and how to not let the haters get to you. This can potentially include your family, friends, and strangers. I started hearing about the way I looked being not good enough or inadequate at a very young age. <laughs> So basically growing up was not the best at community events or when surrounded by people that were projecting quite a bit of self-hate. I accepted these hateful comments because I didn't know any better. I was just a child. I used to sob looking at my mom as a four-year-old with tears dripping down my chipmunk cheeks and accuse her of how dare she allow me to be born this way. And she'd respond, I drank all the saffron milk in the world. And I did this intentionally because I knew when you came into this world, you'd look at your sister and ask, how come she's lighter than me? So I ended up blaming her for drinking saffron milk and making me dark, even though the old wife's tale is that saffron and milk makes your baby lighter. So for all you haters watching this, drink all the saffron milk and have your babies end up this way. This way? So my four-year-old logic and response was, So you made me dark on purpose by drinking saffron milk? Because <laughs> you didn't do it for her. Four-year-old Thurga didn't know how to empathize or appreciate the fact that her mother was trying to protect her daughter before she was born into a world and raised in a culture that would treat me less than because of my skin color. My mother thought during her nine months of pregnancy, if she drank saffron and milk, I would come out into this world with a little bit more privilege. Now my mother, she would privately assure me that I was beautiful. And in hindsight, it's really interesting that all these comments came from people that my mother would try to respect and wouldn't speak back to. So I empathize in a way. Sometimes culturally people do things because that's what they're used to and they think that behavior is acceptable. And today I would also like to address why it's not acceptable and why it is not okay and how much it irks me when I see it happen in present day. குடிச்சாலும் <laughs> கருப்பு கோபி குடிக்க விட வேண்டாம் ஓ இந்த கருப்பு கோபி குடிச்சாலாம் கருப்பா வந்துருவாடா ஓ கணக்கு மில்க் போட்டு நல்ல நல்ல ஒரு ஒயிட் கோபியா சே கோபிய விட்டுட்டு பேசாம பாலை குடு பாலை குடிச்சா வெள்ளையா வருவாள் கொஞ்சம் மஞ்சளும் போடு ஓ பிள்ளை இது வந்து கஸ்தூரி மஞ்சள் அம்மா மிக்ஸ் பண்ணுற இப்போ பூசினா நீ வெள்ளையா வருவே இந்த ஃபேர் அண்ட் லவ்லி கிரிப்ளி கிரீம் ஒன்றும் காசு கொடுத்து வேண்ட தேவையில்ல இதை நீ முகத்தில் பூசினா மாப்பிள்ள வேல என்ன பிள்ளைக்கு வேணுமோ வந்து உனக்கு செய்கிறேன் சரியா வா அம்மாவும் சேர்ந்து பூசுறேன் ஹலோ மாணி இஞ்ச ஒரு புதுனம் பெரிய நியூஸ் ட்ரம்போட பெரிய நியூஸ் இப்போதான் சன் டிவியில் பார்த்துனா இந்த ஃபேர் அண்ட் லவ்லி கிடக்குது இப்போ வந்து ஃபேர் அண்ட் லவ்லியர் வந்துருக்குதான் ஓ பாவிச்சா நல்ல வெள்ளையம் லவ்லியராக வந்துருவோம்மா ஜ நீ கடைக்கு போனால் எனக்கு கொண்டு வேண்டிதாரிய எனக்கு நேரம் இல்லை ஓ கோயிலுக்கு போகணும் கும்பிட வேணும் சரி 
in the guide no. bye thanks for stopping by the gift shop like i it. really don't want to get dark and i know what? it's like 40 degrees but um i'd rather like not get my arms tan right because like it wants to be dark anyway it's not even like i don't even know but my hat looks good right it's really unfortunate you're dark though you'd be prettier i mean you are pretty for a dark girl you really are am i back from vacation Black leather interior, copy mari, kanju boy, sick. And even in the Dominican Republic, Cuba, in the trips, a lamb burned up. Tell you, trip will a poranda, Alaska boy, scarf, topi lamb, put to cover bundi, and the snow apart, the snow maria, and we were there. You get tanned more in the snow, and I get ninja nudes. Ain't a pretty amount of blood pressure in the black. Pull in a bit of a pan. Having now lived decades in this skin color, I can say it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Learning that I had to one, stand up for myself has taught me I can stand up for other people. When I see other communities or groups being oppressed, I get really uncomfortable about it and I speak up quite often. It is because of white colonizers, racism is perpetuated in our culture today and you see it in media and films and music and politics. Looking at that deep-rooted problem in itself has taught me to stop self-hating. When I'm aware that this goes back to systemic oppression, I am now aware that I have to be a part of the change. I've also started to call out people on inappropriate comments or I let them know, hey, that's hurtful and I don't appreciate it. And they genuinely think they're being funny or they start defending patriarchy, systemic oppression, and that's just how it is and we need to deal with it. No, we don't. If we don't stand up together for our own cause, who will? Along the way, I realized that present Thurka could appreciate future Thurka if she realized she is a gift. I intentionally look at my skin and say positive things to myself like, girl, you look good. I go out of my way to let other people of color know how beautiful I think their skin is on a platonic level. Self-love starts by not hating on yourself or other people. The more you can go around and spread a bit of positivity and rake in a lot of gratitude by doing that, the more you're going to feel better. It's really contagious. Try it out. Let me know if it goes well for you. Anyways, this video is super long. I don't even know if I got all the points I wanted to get in. This has been a video about my personal experiences. I hope that you could take that with a grain of salt. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit subscribe, like, follow, share. Leave a comment behind. Let me know if this is something you can relate to or if you've dealt with other things in your life, share your experiences and what tools you've used to love yourself and overcome these barriers. I know this isn't the same story for all colored people or brown people or Tamil people. I love learning new tools to cope with issues like this. Please teach me, help me learn. Thank you so much for watching this. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> now my mother, she would privately assure me that I was beautiful and she would go above and beyond to ensure I could do anything that I wanted which is probably why I have a very extroverted personality and try to overcompensate by being funny because maybe deep down I think if I'm not funny I have nothing else to give Wow, that was deep Free therapy on YouTube for Thurka Saved 150 bucks Oh, here though, the wild gate in the poor. Are you not in the Hanju boy on the crack, right? Crack. A person can't go to the corner on a party party. Party party. That's so dry. What else? English Oh, Oh, it's not too late. And cream, white cream, boost
And as I got older, I didn't understand why white people wanted to tan so badly and that was okay. And my culture was telling me that it wasn't okay to be dark and tanned. When white people that I meet in the spa are like, mm, I like your skin color, I wish I had that. And I'm kind of like, really though? Do you also want to experience the racism? Because I'm sure you don't want that. I've never said that to anyone, but now I have to the entire universe, so. Oops. Oh.